Hey guys, today I want to talk about being in a reading slump and see what exactly it is that you all do when you're in a reading slump. You see, my problem is, is that I, where's my book? I just got finished a couple days ago reading this lovely book right here, Tumble and Fall by Alexandra Keats. Excellent book, by the way. Loved it, loved it, loved it. My review will be coming soon. Anyway, so, loved it. Couldn't stop thinking about it. Then I went and decided that I was going to read this little gem. 359 by Gretchen McNeil. I honestly didn't get very far in. Only, the chapters are very short, so I think, oh, I got up to chapter 14. Couldn't make it any further through. It just didn't top my tumble and fall. So then I picked up another book that I had been wanting to read for a really long time. This one, Kiss, Crush, Collide by Christina Meredith. As you can see, didn't get very far into the book. I don't even know what chapter I'm on because the chapters in this book are so freaking long. Um, and she like over describes everything. I don't know. The writing kind of flows, so it is a little beautiful, but I just couldn't get into it. So these two little gems are going on the side, and hopefully I'll come back to them later. But my point is, is what do all of you do when you get into a reading slump? Or when you start a book and how far in do you go until you decide not to read any more of it? Um, do you ever have do not finish books? Do you post reviews on them if they're do not finish? Do you do a video review if they're do not finish? I'm totally stuck here. I have no idea what to do. Um, I do have all of these lovely gems that are sitting and waiting for me. But honestly, right now at the moment, after the bad two books that I just put down, not that they're bad, just uninterested, I don't even know if I want to start any of these for fear that I'm not going to like them and then I'm going to put them down too. So I just want to know, you know, that's our discussion. Um, do you enjoy every book that you read? Um, obviously not everybody does. And what exactly do you do? Do you force yourself to finish it if it's a review book? Do you not finish it? Do you finish some of it? Do you let them know? What do you do? I find myself I get a lot of indie books. Um, I have a lot of indie authors that contact me and they want me to review their book and I'm always afraid to say yes because I'm fearing that I will not like their book or it doesn't sound interesting to me but maybe I'd like it. I have no idea. So that's the topic for today. Somebody let me know.